Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aries. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, um, check your other placements because your message could be there. All right. Um, let's begin. So I feel like uh, here you are in this hangman energy. You're thinking about something that most likely is, uh, it feels like a pattern between you and uh, this person. Something perhaps that keeps repeating. Perhaps uh, some type of deception uh, with the devil for some. Possibly there could be a third party. Maybe this person has cheated. Um, because, and I, I'm going to tell you why I'm saying that actually, it's right here, Vanity Fair. This is somebody who is in a relationship, but they are looking elsewhere, okay? So this card would suggest looking elsewhere, you know? Um, I mean, it's possible that there's something going on or you you think that something is going on uh, but maybe you don't have all of your answers when it comes to that situation there are things about that situation most likely that you are in the dark about because uh, it's coming with the moon that's what's clarifying the moon that's what you're in the dark about you're in the dark about whether or not this person is actually cheating or not possibly right or some other type of deception uh, or whether they've broken a promise or not uh, um, because in the past they have broken promises to you now um, this has most likely been going on for a long time because the lily is here um, you actually have the key but you don't know it Okay, because the key is here, and it could be that you've had the key for a long time with the lily. Um, maybe, I know you have it, because it's appeared. It's just, it's in the reverse, so you're not seeing it, or you don't think you have it. Um, so the key is that thing that makes everything uh, click into place it's like a light bulb moment okay now it, it's in the reverse so you obviously don't have it yet or you haven't had that light bulb moment yet you haven't uh, um, found this key yet or don't realize that you have it and um, it is in the dark currently um, it could be with distant horizons uh, maybe uh, it's because you're dreaming of something. And it could be dreams and wishes. Uh, maybe you don't want to find this or look at this key for some of you with the distant horizons. You could be... Um, You could be thinking that something you're dreaming of is out of reach, possibly, uh, with distant horizons. Or it could be somebody who, who has their head up in, in the clouds, you know, because the fantasy card is also here. So you may be fantasizing uh, about or dreaming about uh, fixing this. You may not be... You may not be paying attention to your sign, uh, to the signs you're receiving, to intuition when it comes to this person, because maybe you fear to to see what's there. Mm -hmm. um, the Libra, Five of Love. So this person has done something to you. Uh, that feels really unfair it's causing you a lot of grief or has been causing you a lot of grief and it could possibly be a repeating pattern okay um and i feel like uh 
It's like you want to know the truth, but you don't. That's, that's what I'm hearing. So, um, feelings are really intense here. Um, yeah, when it comes to this Knight of Cups, because of ghosts of the past. So, I feel like this person keeps breaking their promise. Um, there's a lot of grief over something that was discussed uh, in private or uh, this is things that go on behind closed doors. You could be wondering what's going, what's really behind their offer. You're worried about ghosts, the ghosts of the past, that, that's what's there's ghosts of the past and you need you need to overcome them there's something about the belief system too because the hierophant is down flat on his face here you're covering your eyes um as death rides in so there's a a, a change that's taking place here that is very uncomfortable that you don't want that you don't feel you have the answers or the solution for but you actually do You don't want to fight with this person. You don't. Um, you're hoping to clear up uh, some. Uh, you could no. You you you're. This has to do with uh, this. It's, you could be married or like a marriage, um, or this could be some type of agreement, promise, like we saw contract. Uh, so. There was a deception. You're always looking over your shoulder here. Somebody's being sneaky. I, I feel like you want to clear this up um, because I feel like you dream still or, or still, you still feel like you could have a happy outcome or this is your what you're wishing for. And maybe this is why, maybe you're ignoring the signs. Maybe there are signs that you don't want to look at possibly, you know. The relationship is struggling. Yeah, see, uh, the Three of Wisdom is here. Um, just show you the card. <clears throat> you're you're looking to get out of a dark place, um, but you already see the hand that reaches out of the dark cloud. You could be uh, you could be waiting for help or praying for some kind of. Uh, uh, help from the divine um, but the manner in which the hand is is uh, coming through the clouds would suggest that they it's like you already have this answer the, you're holding a book that's closed but that book um, contains the key so all you have to do is open the book and look at it but it's like um, you want you you don't want to lose anything here. You want to hold on to what you have, or if anything has been lost, um, you want to try and get it back. So if the relationship has changed in any way because of something you've you you've learned. Um, you want to try and, you know, uh, get back or get it back to what it was before. The divine is trying to send you signs, but you're not listening because you're imprisoned here in your mind, you see. You're imprisoned here in the mind. Um, Capricorns in the reverse. 
and Taurus is looking at that. So maybe, maybe you're just, uh, this is like not being careful. And Taurus, well, Taurus doesn't like to be pushed. They've got strong opinions. Um, they're stubborn, persevering. So maybe you want to persevere. Uh, you really, really don't want this to fall apart. You don't want to lose anything. And anything that has currently been lost, you wish to get it back. You, you, you still uh, are wanting to hold on to this uh, relationship, this person. And you see the pattern is about to repeat again because here he comes and saying, oh, I'll change. Okay, I'll change. Uh, I'll put more effort. Um, and this is what you're looking at. You're looking at what they're telling you because what they're telling you could could easily pull you out of this dark place but would it be real or would it be a false vision you know so you're you're looking at this and this is oh oh they're telling me this 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 will help me get out of this place that's that's what I'm seeing here but on, oh yeah, see, on top of you, you have the moon. So, and the moon is saying, whoa, wait a minute. There's something you're not seeing here. And the key, the key is in the reverse here. There's something you're not seeing. It looks like you're looking, you're looking for a solution, a way out of this particular dark spot. I, I feel like with the Capricorn reverse turning their back on the past, it's like they don't want to look there anymore um, because they stubborn, stubbornly want to persevere with this, with I don't want to lose anything. I don't want to lose this person. I don't want anything here to change. Okay. And so this is what's, uh, occupying your mind, you know, um, what's in your thoughts, and there's the moon again, so moon at the heart of the reading, first card out, moon over here, and the moon is also he here at the bottom of the deck in the overall energy, so it's clearly telling you that there's something you're not seeing, and so then we have Pythia over here, look, see, why are you in this place, okay, look at all those inner demons there, Okay, so you're in this place because you did not listen to your intuition. Okay, and so, and this here, the next card is like a, uh, a card of, uh, it's like a, a relationship of convenience, the gilded cage. So it's like they have all these nice things and they have all these possessions, but um, there's no love. And so, in a, in a way, they end up being trapped here, right? And uh, and so, and they're in depression. They're not happy with that card. And so, Pythia is like, um, oh, listening to others all the time. You're listening to this person. You're believing this person, even though you know that it, this pattern keeps repeating, but you don't really want to hear that in the moment. What you want to, uh, what you want to, uh, what you want, <laughs> I'll put it that way, is a way out of this dark place that you're currently in. What you want is not to lose anything. And what you want is to persevere uh, with your, your goal, your vision, uh, your fantasy, of, of this happy outcome uh, that you so desire, but you could be deceiving yourself here. You know, you may be constantly looking over your back, uh, like over your, over your shoulder in this relationship. So Pythia says, um, um, either you didn't see the signs that were being sent, 
uh, or you ignored them. That that's that's what she's saying. And and the way the actual way through this energy is to pay attention to the signs. Start trusting your intuition. It's saying that like you're going to receive a sign. Okay, they're going to send you a sign again. But you must be open to receiving it. And that's the thing. Are you? Are you open to receiving the signs? Because once you are, the key turns, okay, and unlocks the door. And uh, everything is just going to click into place and make sense. Okay, it's, it's that light bulb moment. Um, but currently, it is this way. So, in the reverse. But I'm going to turn it for you in hopes that this will help you uh, through this energy. So, the way through this energy is to pay attention to the signs. Start trusting your intuition. Okay? High honor. So this is a card of uh, a change in status. Um, hmm. It is... Okay, so this is what you're worried about. This is what you're worried about. Yeah, look at that. And, and change. Because you really want... You really, really want uh, a new beginning with this person. You want what they're, what they're promising you. You want it. But there's something here you're not seeing. Change. This indicates that something is going to come to pass. And maybe that's what you're worried about. You're worried about something coming to pass. And it's, it's a change that you do not want. That's what you're worried about. Yeah. So that is what I what I have for you. Um, you you really need to start listening to your intuition. Okay, that's that's their warning. Start trusting in it. It is the way through this energy. That is uh, what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.